Hello there. This one was going to be really quick and, and really sketchy and I was going to try and not spend ages over detailing it and then a faffed around for ages anyway. It's a Thargoid cave. Well, a Thargoid battleship, I imagine, landed surface structure. And uh, it's got like a genetic fingerprinting locks on the outside. So you've got to put something that's Thargoid origin in the doorway, like a sensor. So you stick a sensor in the doorway and then you can get in and you can drive around in your little SRV and squash the, uh, the Thargoid eggs by accident. And uh, inside and around the structures, there's these little red beasties called scavengers and they're doing stuff. They sprinkle this caustic goop over the eggs and they uh, they seem to just basically hoover up and tidy around and they always look quite busy the floating around and checking things they are armed and if they see you as a threat they will shoot at you they're not terribly powerful but there are a lot of them so potentially if you've already got a bit of caustic goop on you and uh, y your hull's a bit depleted they can be a little bit of a threat this scavenger looks like it's being shot at which uh, is, is brave, I guess. <laughs> the Thargoid Caves are kind of the centre of the storyline of the game at the moment because the, inside these Thargoid Caves there's what's called the map room. We don't really know a lot about it, but if you put these three different Thargoid artefacts, the link, the probe and the sensor, into the receptacles, there's three big kind of floaty receptacles in the center of this room with all these kind of uh, undulating trunk-like biomechanical wires connecting them. If you connect the circuit, if you like, with these three different Thargoid items, then you can switch on the Thargoid map, but you can put other stuff in there as well. And people have found that if you put in stuff made by the alien guardians, the extinct alien race, they uh, they don't like that. They don't like guardian items anyway, because the Thargoids had that long war with the guardians. And, and the Thargoid structure uh, reacts quite extremely. And it causes a bit of an explosion and everything goes a bit haywire. And it can throw you off your feet and, or make your SRV fly into the air and spin round. And it's great fun. But they've found that if you do put specifically the relic which is this long blue glowing prism that you can pick up at guardian sites people have discovered that if you put these into the mat room receptacles since the triggering of the big doomsday weapon the the proteus wave that went all wrong last year the thargoid structure converts the guardian relic into this green glowing ominous thing People have been collecting these and taking them to two of the engineers, Ram Tar and Professor Palin, and they've been researching them. We'll, we'll find out what the deal is with them soon, I'm sure. Maybe finding out what's inside them and how, they, how they've done that might be, might be what we need to uh, fight back against this in massive invasion that we've got going on at the moment. Might give us a little bit of hope in the ongoing war for humanity's survival. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? It's all good stuff, isn't it? Right, bye. <laughs>